and there's a, there's like you're gonna have a spectrum of people that are gonna taste things, and there's gonna be a lot of people that land in the the okay zone. There's people out here and there's people down here. I don't get it at all. I get it medicinally and I get it just right. And nobody's gonna get it right for everybody. Of course. So like yeah. you know like when That's you hear somebody says it. something like this tastes like toothpaste, taste it yourself. Hey man, we've been doing this a long time. Like they've given you movie movie critics give you a review about a movie. Did you believe them or did you go see it? Yeah, right. Yeah. Go see the movie. That's right. If you don't like it? You're not wrong. You're yeah. right. Yep. Drink what I, you like. I like to tell people what I interpret taste as. You know, if, if I get toothpaste, then that's perfect. But, you know, if that's not what I want to drink. But yeah. if you taste yeah. it and that's what you get, you're like, oh, it kind of sticks in people's minds of, yeah. you know what? It does taste minty, you know? It's I'm, funny, too, because it can, it can happen. I've actually had that experience where I'm like, oh, that's what it was. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get there. But I, I have been able to make that go the other way because uh, – we, we, we have had, like, you know, we, we do a lot of experimentation on our beers, and uh, we had one that uh, when one of our bartenders initially tasted it, he was like, I'm not sure about that one. And so I, I poured one, and I tasted it. was like, oh, you, you mean it tastes like this and this and this? And he goes, oh, my God. That and then he tasted it again. He's like, yeah, I tasted that. <laughs> <laughs> he did the same Jedi mind trick on me. I was like, wow, that, yeah. that was good. The power of suggestion so, is strong. So influence yes. and <laughs> suggestion. So Hence hype, yep. yeah. all that. Influence, yep. Influence. You, you, you go into it already loving it before you've even tried it. It's hard to not. I mean, look at, look at some of these beers that cost $200 a bottle. I mean, Yeah, don't pay those damn. prices. If yeah. you're going to pay those How prices, can you pay say it to I the brewery. Hated that beer. Pay it to the brewery, man. Yeah. You know? Give, you give the brewery their, their payment for all that work done. You know? but the I hype, don't believe in secondary market. But it has a <laughs> lot of influence, yeah. and it makes you decide before you've even tried it that you like it. And they, they can happen. Hype is huge. It's, it's huge. So get on the train. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the glass is empty. I yeah. know. Do you want to try another beer? Speaking yes. of hype, I really some enjoyed new stuff. I really yeah, that enjoyed was good. the yeah. IPA. Okay, good. From, uh, uh, Urban South. Nice. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Yeah. So this one is um, the newest Lamb in the Jam from Baba Brewhouse oh, out in nice. Brookshire. I'm excited about this. Mm-hmm. All right. Shout out to my friend Kenneth for making the mule and doing the mule services for me. But this from one East is... San Antonio. Shout out yeah. to Sylvia for sharing it with us tonight. Thank you very yeah. much. You're very yeah. welcome. There's like, I, I think there's three or four degrees of beer. Uh, that's not seven. It's only, it's only a couple. Small industry. I've got so much beer in my fridge, I don't know what to do with. But Ber- it's a Berliner. It's a cherry peach and... What is this? Uh, some fruit I've never heard of. Or- orgy. 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 O-R-G-E-A-T. I have no idea what it is. Orgy. Or- orgy. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is me practicing maybe, my linguistics. Maybe what they're saying is everything is or- 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 organic. Maybe so. We're no, going to try it. Like, did you read that? I, I don't know. Uh, uh, or all those fruits just had an orgy. Like, so here's the <laughs> Maybe orgy, maybe orgy is, is, is a different language for lamb. Uh-huh. Oh, right? Like there's literally lamb in there. Like sheep, yeah. Well. Uh, no, just, just stop, try, stop trying to figure out what the fruit orgy is and eat it. It's, 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 it's mutton and cherry and peach. Ooh, look at the color. Ooh. Uh, may, have, may have to shake that up a little bit. I know it's going to be a little bit thick on them. Oh, the shake and not stir? Well, you know. This is, this is a Bond martini? With, with two C's. Thick. Now, he's opened the tap room since he came on our show, right? Cause he, I think. Yes. So, um, he is it's like a Bloody Mary. At, at Baba oh, Brew, Brew House. Um, well, nice. Has improved his system. He's, he's got a larger system, so he's brewing a ton more beer. And they're usually open every Saturday. So. Thank you, sir. That's pretty good. Yeah. So This is probably one of the most difficult things to ever pull off in the world. <laughs> These are and, wild. And God bless them for trying. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. I got more guts Ooh, than I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is a lot thicker than I would consider like a Berliner, but it's not Ooh. like super pulpy. You know, you, there's some fruited sours dude. that oh, are wow. out there that are yeah. really this thick is pretty and damn good. This, this is not like that. So um, funny thing is, 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 you'll make a beer like this and it'll be thick, and everybody will be like, some people are like, yeah, this is exactly what I want. And some people are like, I wanted it thinner, and some people are like, no, you missed it. But, a, you're you're almost, all over the map on a beer like this. Yeah, yeah it's almost like a, a mango humix. This mm. is nice. I, yeah. I, I, I like this yeah, quite a bit. Like, they did a really good job. Yeah, I get a lot of, on the aroma, a ton of peach. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of peach in there. Every sip tastes different. Yeah, yeah peach and cherry. It's like the everlasting okay, so. gobstopper. Right, right. Yeah, it's oh. evolving before our eyes. <laughs> um, it doesn't taste alcoholic at all. It doesn't. Hopefully is, it is. 
It could be. <laughs> and that's, it, that's if it's dangerous. not, that's fine. If it is, well, that says four percent. You're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, four percent. Okay, so four percent. You could drink yeah. a lot of this. Truth. Post workout like, beer. I'd like to maybe try to freeze some and make like a little oh, yeah. slushy out of it or something. It'd be a great poolside treat. Yeah, no, this is definitely like my post. <laughs> you can make a. Uh, you can make ice lamb. <laughs> it might be high in vitamin C. Right. <laughs> Might be. Just saying. If you freeze it hardcore enough, you could make it an 8% Ice Lamb Bock. <laughs> <laughs> I think an Ice Lamb Bock is something we need. Yeah. And then and, and that would be great. Do we have to go to Iceland to make it? Maybe. <laughs> that, that was really tasty. That was good. I enjoyed, yeah, yeah. A, I enjoyed that a lot. I don't even care what the alcohol was. Yeah. Just 4%. No big deal. And he has kind of an interesting deal because he's like sending beer to Vegas, right? I mean, when there, yeah, there's he's, really. He does yeah, a Trevor. He's he got does, some like weird um, connections and he's, you that's know. That's fun. Yeah. I know that Washington, he was distributing in Washington for a little while and then he did the Trevor thing for uh, beer delivery. Um, but, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're putting out some of the best Berliners in Houston, in my opinion, because they're so flavorful. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, that was a really... Really and I, I really enjoy them. I mean, and their hazy game is really great too. Oh yeah, um, and they have a great Kolsch. But it's like nobody those... nobody talks about that, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, Kolsch is challenging. Ask 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 anybody at the brewery what they're drinking, and it's the Kolsch. Yeah. Oh, we got more beer coming. Oh, whose beer is that? It's Josh's oh, that's beer. Josh's beer. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> beer delivery. <laughs> My glass was empty. I need to get a beer. <laughs> No, it's funny though. There's a there's a lot of beers that get uh, put out that don't get a lot of hype. That shift brewers, brewers, they drink. Uh, they're all talking about the crispy boys, the Kolsch's, oh, yeah. the, the low ABV. Uh, it, there's a whole like subculture of beer that oh, yeah, we, never never gets understood unless you actually work in the industry. And like well, when we went to Baba, and I was like waiting in line for all these like like smoothies and these like like like. What, what, what was the brewer drinking? I'm drinking the coal shot. Yeah. I know why you're drinking that. <laughs> yeah. And I get it. And it's funny. It's funny how that is. But there's there's a lot of beer that just gets overlooked. Do you, do you think, about. like, one reason the Kolsch is overlooked is because you almost have to be a brewer to, to appreciate how difficult it, and how it, fragile it, it, it is? It wasn't always that way. It's right, just, because Kolsch was, I mean, that was, one, yeah. today, that was around today, back in the day. Today's yeah, a I different mean, day. Like, it's, it, the Kolsch is just not... Crazy enough. Yeah. So I, I think it's just like perspective. So the the people that are driving hype, there's that's a very people aren't small... taking pictures of, of groceries or of cultures for Instagram. You know? <laughs> well, Maybe. I am. If you want to look at my Instagram, <laughs> yeah. however, um, it's different because the the population of the people that are you know hyping it up, it's a very very small segment of what the the beer market actually is, right? So it's yeah. just, it's always like the people that are the loudest. It and might most be the confront- same percentage of people buying toilet paper right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just saying. Right? Topical topical comment, right? Yeah. yeah gosh. Please. Apparently there's, there's out It doesn't take right a now. lot to, 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 to trend. I'm it hoping that no lot. one goes down that hype road and decides to do a coronavirus um, <laughs> beer. I, I hope they still Corona's clear. already oh, they, trying to change they, the about the, they, they, get a, they get a cease and desist letter from Corona right off the bat, right? Yeah. I mean, For sure. You know, no, but... Uh, uh, but Brand hype, confusion. Hype can be good or bad. It can this be is good my or virus. Bad. <laughs> can, I would hope that Corona doesn't try to capitalize on that. I mean, that would be. Oh, I don't think that'd be in poor taste. Trying to distance It'll, themselves. I mean, so it'll be badly. interesting to see how they navigate it. All right. I mean, obviously, they know what they're doing from a marketing standpoint. Yeah. I mean, they've been around for a long time. I mean, you know, a couple of years ago, they were they were gaining a market share huge, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, we were talking about that before the show. Is you know, I, I, I you know, assume they've taken a hit. I've. Seen some posts suggesting maybe they're they're up. I don't know. I mean, how could they be? I mean, but you, you know that they're going to have a well thought out plan on how to deal with it. I guess. Right. Yeah. So we'll sh- we shall see. Yeah, but I don't think any brewery should uh, try to have fun with the with the with the, the current situation. That, sensitive yeah, topic. that'd be in poor taste. That would be. Yeah, I don't think that'd be well. And except it, for maybe Brash. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, but like like. But Brash, even the, even yeah. they they probably wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? No, like the. The, like breweries shouldn't do anything in poor taste because the the main point of craft beer is good taste. Right, mm. that's a good point. Wow, well said. Yeah, yeah. you like to turn that? Yeah, we're gonna pull that audio <laughs> out. That's gonna be yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> another T-shirt idea. Yeah, there you what go. What was the other one? What happens in the mash no, stays in the mash. What happens in the mash stays in the mash. Stays mash. Stays <laughs> the mash. Yeah. We, we used to always trademark <laughs> T-shirt respect the boil. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna throw pumpkin pies in my mash. Don't don't tell anybody. <laughs> We're a long way from Thanksgiving. 
that's just in time to lager it for the whole summer and then barrel age it for a little bit. That's right. Yeah. No, see, what's the season right now? The season is peeps. you got to throw peeps in the mash for uh, Easter. Easter, yeah. Easter yeah. coming It's up. been done many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, but that's what you're going to see. You give it a couple weeks, sure. it's like, oh, I'm throwing peeps in there. Like, yep. played out. We've already had pickle beers. We've had all, you know, menthol you beers. We've had eggs. all kinds of stuff. The spicy pickle. Uh, yeah, everything. Yeah. It's all been done. I haven't tried that yet. I haven't got my hands on one of those either. I need to find some. I'll so bring I, you some, Josh. I think we just need to get ahead of the game and start making Nathan's Hot Dogs 4th of July beer today. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Nothing like that water. hot dog water. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic idea. <laughs> Yep. Now, do you call it Nathan's, or do you twist the words, the name around, just to to, to get around brand confusion? Mm, yeah, uh, good man, point. I don't know. Good point. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if Nathan's would Blathans, be. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if they would be flattered or appalled that we called our beer hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to have a dirty hot dog water. Yeah. Version, too. <laughs> I call it Nathan's. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I noticed, looking at the schedule, you all have some live music come up here. I mean, I know you all, but I remember that you all have had uh, yeah. open mic nights. You've, you know, I mean, it's not a new thing. We've experimented but, uh, with a lot of ideas, try to get people in here. I right. Mean, mm-hmm. In the end, like with mm-hmm. any small brewery like us, the, the folks coming in the door, coming here to support us at, this, at the home base is, is the biggest, biggest thing. So we, we always are trying to do things like that. Yeah, but I think we do um, have a pretty regularly scheduled live do. music Friday and Saturday now. It's a Friday. It's definitely Friday we have music. Yeah. Um, we have lots of events. We have the Trivia Wednesdays. The, 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 no, the Trivia is the pretty big, right? Trivia yeah. 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 is, yeah. Every, Lewis every is scene is full. Yeah. We have to thank the Nassau, like the, all, the, all yeah. the different folks that no, love we, Trivia. We, like, we definitely have like, like nationally ranked smartest Trivia like, in our town. There's a lot of people yeah. in Webster. There's really a lot of people stuff, that are yeah. kind of yeah. kind of bitter that they didn't get their chance to get on Jeopardy, right? I don't know what it is, but they love the Trivia. And I love that they come in and do Trivia here because they're good people. That's a unique thing. They take care of our bartenders, too. They It's it's all, like I've worked the yeah. I've worked the bar seafood trivia a couple trivia times and like they'll like bring in like boxes of cookies for Loyal, us to have like they're good like, people confident like we're gonna yeah. win this night like they I, it's unbelievable yeah. like, it, it's a unique thing to this area I think like we're mm-hmm. lucky to yeah have that. well I mean I, you know back in the day I remember uh, there was some there's some uh, research that this area has like more advanced degrees than almost any other part of the country other than like Silicon Valley and maybe yep. maybe the Research Triangle maybe a couple other spots but I mean yeah. you know, we accidentally figured out a, an entertaining thing. For them to do. To do. Yeah. Like, boom. It exploded and it never stops. Thanks, NASA. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. And then uh, the Friday, the music, we, we've been toying with the idea of, like, stopping it. We actually stopped live music on Fridays, and we found out, oh, wow, that hurt us. Yeah. Okay, that was stupid. People Let's wanted bring to it back. and listen to music, yeah. And, and, and mm-hmm. we're, you're always, as a business, you're always trying to figure out, like, what you can do to become the most efficient business you can be. Sure. You're always playing around with ideas. Yeah, and, um, and once you think you have it figured out, you, you realize you don't have it figured out. You get you get you get dropped on your ass, and you got to absolutely yeah, yeah, fast. Man, you'll never 100 percent figure it out. It's always it's always fluid. Yes. Yeah, fluid yeah. is a great word. Yes, especially for a brewery. So yeah. true. <laughs> all about the fluids. It's the all brewery. about fluid <laughs> dynamics. Yeah. Tasty fluids. Slew Door Brewing, <laughs> Webster, Texas. Yeah, because you got okay. So I, I noticed this wild, wild west party. Do y'all, do y'all know anything about that that you've got coming up on March 21st? I, so the problem I, is I know that it's happening. <laughs> okay, yeah. He probably knows more about it than I do. Lewis. Oh, the Wild Wild West? Yeah, yeah. Wild West? Or the Wild Wild West party here on March 21st. I actually noticed, no. I think I think you uh, you are SVP'd. Oh, I did? Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry to put you I'm on the spot. I'm probably drunk on that time. Right, right, right. Well, hey, pull, pull up. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, no, let somebody me, RFs... Let me pull up my Saloon Door Brewing yeah. Facebook page on my phone. Yeah, and it's check out hosted by is. Texas <laughs> Team Texas Snowdrop. And uh, I think it's going to be... Uh, wow. You know, it actually might be a good uh, opportunity for people who missed out on the rodeo to come here. And it looks like there might it's even true. be two-stepping. I mean, I don't know. I, I read the description. I'm like, oh, wow, look at this. And it seems like this is the right place. Saloon Door for a little... Uh, Little wild, wild west kickers. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, all the all the clothes you couldn't go, you couldn't wear to the rodeo. Bring them here and let's oh, yeah. let's oh, throw man, down. Right. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. So. Um, I definitely. Yeah, two step and for today. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you all on the spot, out, you know. No idea. That this is, this is I actually know more about what's going on here than they do. Yeah. No, but <laughs> well, as far as one event on March twenty first, apparently. No, and then on March 27th, you'll have Brightwire, you'll have Patty O at 
here on the 20th. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, so, you know, patio beers. Yeah, patio beers. He plays here a lot. He's a really yeah, good yeah, oh, patio beers. And I've heard good both. things. Yeah. They are very talented mm-hmm. people. Like I've, I've been here a number of times and they're playing, and, like, they are 